Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon Zephaus Diaries. I come with some bad news right now. As you can see already, Daryl is here, Daryl Dixon, which is amazing, I'm happy to have Daryl. Where's Herschel, you're probably asking? Well, I am sad to say that Herschel didn't die. We ended up kicking him out of the party, which broke my heart, but I need to keep Daryl in there, right? I need to get Daryl recruited. However, you guys didn't see that because, unfortunately for me, I'm using a different type of program to record this game because this game, where most of my regular programs do not show this. You see that little hovering view the location security report? This doesn't show up with my regular recording devices, or programs, I should say. I have to use a different one, which is like more of a screen capture. So, unfortunately with this program, it doesn't show me when I'm recording and when I'm not. So I thought I was recording, but no. I sat here for 20-25 minutes and just talked to myself like a madman. So... If I wasn't crazy before, that only signifies the fact that I am. So yeah, I lost progress. I, I do apologize for that. It, it really pains me to do so because, you know, I don't really get all the free time in the world to record videos. So when I do get some free time, I have to take make the most of it. So unfortunately for me, losing that video is um, terrible because you guys lose the progress of watching it. And number two, you know, it's one less video for me to record on my limited days off. So, you know, it sucks, but we're going to record this one right now and see hopefully it goes well. However... We have a lot of injuries right now. The last episode was kind of really, really problematic, and we're pretty low on food, so we're going to be going into the store. I have investigated the store before, and I did an assault on the store before. So technically speaking, it should be kind of safe, depending on how many zombies are still inside. But we'll see how it goes. We need to skip one hour forward. And we also need to make sure that Rick and Daryl, you know, recover over time too, which is taking a while. Glenn and Merle approached the store with the intention of breaking in. It was a difficult place to get it into with few accessible entrances, so they had to spend a very long time finding a good entry point. They headed straight into the front door, leading to the first storeroom. When it came to getting inside, the terrifying sledgehammer proved very useful. There were no zombies inside the first storeroom. It sounds like there are only a handful of zombies wandering around in here. A small mob is gathering outside the store. Okay. So, here they go. And then back home, we have... Maggie's still watching for zombies, and then Rick and Daryl are going to be just idle for now because I need them to recover. I can't give them any jobs right now, so I just need them to come through. I mean, they've been treated for the most part. I mean, I can't treat the contusions, however, or Rick's uh, concussion because I have no medication for it. So hopefully we find something soon. We might have to come down here, but Jesus, man. It's hard enough to get into, like, these stores now that going into the hospital is, like, basically a dead wish, honestly. Alrighty, so let's get forward. Not sure what happened, but we'll see. Maggie and Rick's constant bickering. Yeah, 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 I get it. Daryl was feeling slightly fit after doing some exercise. Glenn and Merle were still trying to clear out the remaining zombies inside the store. A small mob had gathered outside the place. Most of the fighting took place in the first storeroom. Glenn blasted a zombie's torso with a double-barreled handgun after blasting its left leg, torso, and right leg. Merle shot two zombies with a double-barreled handgun. They got them all. Glenn received some bruising and small cuts and tears. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. I don't understand, like... I don't understand the combat in the game, honestly. Like, I think I'm doing so good. I take all the proper precautions. Like, you know, I go to a place and I investigate it first. I then go to the place and I assault it. At least I did with this location. And I now go in with a breaching party with, you know, proper equipment. I have, like, ranged weaponry. I have melee weaponry. And I still get hurt. I mean, I guess we probably need some defensive items like the helmets and the jackets and whatnot. But still, I mean, it's it's just really upsetting because I take every single precaution and I still get hurt. Now look at this shit. I have three people that are fucking, like, you know, injured. It's just, uh, really upsetting. Grinds my gears, man. All right, so at least we're here and we're alive and that's all I could really hope for at this point, right? So here's what we got to do now. We are going to have... Somebody has to watch for zombies. That's going to be Merle. And we are going to have... Glenn, search the location because he's better at searching than Merle is. So, Glenn, you search the location for anything useful. As a matter of fact, we need some food and medicine, I would say. So, let's look for food first, I would say. Yeah. So, look for some food first, and Merle, you just keep an eye out. Back home, Maggie continue watching out. Rick and Darrow are still hurt. Really can't do much with you guys right now. At least not without risking you some bodily harm. Uh, we scouted these areas before. Apparently there was no zombies in there, but I really don't buy it. But at this point, it's got to be some zombies in there, because again, every single hour, more zombies flow into the map as well, so there is that. Alrighty, so for now, let's just leave you guys back home doing what you're doing. Can you fortify the location anymore? No, no more furniture, no more barricades. So we're fortified 7, but we're not completely fortified just yet. 
So yeah, just idle away for a while longer then. <clears throat> In the store, we have our duty. Let's go forward. Alright, Glenn and Merle arguing has escalated into a fight. Fortunately, no one was injured. Glenn found a bandage, a baseball bat, a bottle of spirits, three cooking ingredients, a cricket bat, a guitar, a pair of binoculars, and five snacks. Glenn found a bandage and a snack in the aisle. Glenn knows that there is only one shower in the store. Half of the rooms have now been searched. Okay, Rick and Daryl arguing has escalated into a fight. Ah, <sighs> These fights are just getting out of control as well, man. Alrighty, so you guys continue doing the same thing for another hour. Uh oh Glenn and Merle's constant bickering is getting everyone down. Murrow ate a snack. Glenn found a beacon, a flashlight, a mop, a shotgun, and a submachine gun in the storeroom. We were ready for a fight. Murrow was watching for zombies at the time and moved the shelf in front of the first storeroom entrance, giving us more time to get into position. A zombie burst through the door leading to the aisles. Glenn headed to the second storeroom, saying it would be an easy, it's easiest room to defend them. Murrow was unimpressed with Glenn's plan and did not follow him. Instead, send, seeking refuge in the office. <laughs> God damn it, these guys. Most of the fighting took place in the bathroom. Merle blasted a zombie's head with a double-barreled handgun after shooting its torso. They got them all, but there's a small mob gathering outside. Maggie reported that the house is surrounded by a small number of zombies. And then Rick washed himself in the shower. He's grateful for the soap. So zombies out here. It is 10 in the morning, though, so we still be, should be fine. I'm going to give these guys a bit more time to recover before we start doing some patrols outside. Look at this mob over here coming to the store. Jesus, that's terrifying. Okay. Continue doing your search for food and ingredients, I'm going to say. And then Murrow keep a watch. <clears throat> Glenn found 93 9mm rounds, a beacon, and a handgun in the first storeroom. All rooms in the storeroom have now been searched. Okay, Maggie and Rick's constant bickering. Rick ate a small meal. Rick says he's feeling secure in the house. I'm not so sure about that, buddy, but so be it. Alrighty, so now that we're fine, now that we've cleared this area out, would it be a good idea to send Daryl and Rick over here? And then we could all just come back with like a giant supply of stuff. Because right here is um, a lot of cooking ingredients, 14 snack, 3 bandages. There's a lot of stuff that we won't be able to carry ourselves. I think this might be a pretty good idea. Breach the location, secure it, and then some, some more people in, right? Yeah. Okay, let's give this a try. You guys have been here long enough idling a bye. It's time to come back over through here. Maggie, you stay behind and watch. And then, let's see, back over here. Oh, no, not investigate. You need to breach. And if you're going to breach, do you really need to bring anything else if they're going to let you in? I would imagine not, right? Or should I take something just to be on the safe side here? Because you never know. Um, I think you should be fine if there's people already in the store to let you in. Okay, so breach and then watch for zombies and report. But don't you sometimes have to fight zombies outside before you breach? You know what, I, I worry about this, so let's just give you a spiked baseball bat and the spiked pair of brass knuckles, just in case. Just in case. Alrighty, and then over here, Merle's going to watch for zombies and report, and then Glenn is idle. Glenn could... Not a doctor, <laughs> not a good doctor at all. Clean up corpses, uh, patrol outside, and barricade entrances quickly and loudy. Uh, let's just go ahead and clean up some corpses meanwhile. I think that's fine. Okay, let's go forward. Rick had left Daryl behind on the way to the store because he couldn't keep up. Merle ate a snack, Glenn and Merle waited for the right moment to let Rick in, and then they let Daryl inside. Cool. So as long as we have people in there, you don't necessarily have to um, breach in technically again. Good to know. Alright, so everybody's in here now. There's a big mob outside, but it's okay. We're about to leave pretty soon. Let's head back now, as a matter of fact. We're going to breach, and now let's take everything that we can bring with us. So we'll take the sub... Well, let's start off down here. I need food. So snacks and cooking ingredients, bring them all. Jesus Christ, that much? Oh, here's my backpack, though. That's still a lot of um carrying potential for the ingredients and the snacks. But then again, we do need them, so let's not be stingy about it. Let's take some bandages with us as well, because we're kind of all hurt right now. We'll take the terrifying sledgehammer, terrifying crowbar, binoculars, the intense flashlight. There's a guitar here as well. Three flashlights. We'll take the bottle of spirits as well, just so we can get them fucked up. Maybe get them a bit happier that way. There's some scrap over here for modifying and trap making. We'll take the quarrels for the crossbow. There's a lot of ammunition here, too. We need these weapons as well, too. Let's not forget that. Spike baseball bat. Spike pair of brass knuckles. I wonder if it's a good idea to leave somebody behind here right now. And then the other two go, or the other three go and drop stuff up and then come back. And then we'll have somebody to let them back in. 
But can one person defend the area by himself, especially with that small mob outside? I don't think that's a possibility. Huh. You know what? I... Because right now, we're, what are we leaving behind right now? We're leaving scrap, beacons, chest set. Really nothing down here that really worries me too much. The ammunition is something I would really like, though. And we're kind of packed up as it is. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Shotgun, handgun, yeah. I mean, there's some stuff here that I still want to take with me, but I really don't have enough room for it. That is the problem. Although, these are .05, so we could definitely take a few more of these. We'll leave the submachine gun behind, the shotgun. Ah, oh, the shotgun could be really useful, though. We have some 12-gauge ammunition back home, too, I want to say. Alrighty, here's what we do. I'm going to give this a theory a try. Let's get... Merle to stay behind. So, Merle, you're going to stay behind. You're going to watch for zombies and report, even though you're the worst at it, but so be it. You stay back and z report for zombies. You guys are going to breach. All right, you guys are overpacked now, so let's go ahead and drop off the... Let's leave some weapons behind then. Especially for Merle's sake here. Leave the... I guess we'll leave some in cooking ingredients behind. There you go. So we'll leave this behind, and you guys go, and then Merle will stay over here, and hopefully we don't get invaded with Merle. So Merle, good luck to you, buddy. Um, you guys are heading back. It's going to be 12 p.m. It's still not nighttime, so hopefully we have a chance here. Okay, let's go ahead and Merle, watch for zombies and report. And then back over here, watch for zombies and report. Let's go forward. I hope this works out. Glenn and Daryl left Rick on the way to the house because he couldn't keep up. A zombie wandered too close to the secured window. Maggie grabbed a furious fire axe and sliced its right arm. Merle reported that the store is surrounded by a small number of zombies. He added that the entire that the noise level is low. Hopefully they won't be interested. Let's just hope that's the case because you're over here by yourself, buddy. Are these guys finally back or no? Not yet. Yeah, they're back. Right? Glenn and Daryl are playing chess? Yeah, they're back. Okay, good. So... Oh, Rick is still... Where the fuck is Rick at? Rick? Is that Rick right there? He's still not back. Rick is still left behind. So we still have to wait for Rick before we all come back here again. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we'll wait for Rick then. So let's go ahead and... Skip forward an hour. Maggie reported that there are no zombies and Rick is feeling slightly fit after doing some exercise. Alrighty guys, time to go back. So Maggie, you stay behind, do your thing. You guys come over through here, and you are going to breach one more time. And since we don't need to take anything with us since um, Meryl's here, we'll just go buck naked. And then over here, reporting with Meryl. Good. This might be the best way to do this then, huh? Daryl and Rick left Glenn behind on the way to the store because they couldn't keep up. Daryl left Rick behind. These guys, they just don't work together. It's so aggravating. Alrighty, Merle waited for the right moment to let Daryl inside. Merle and Daryl waited for the moment to let Rick inside. And I don't think Glenn made it. Or did he? No, he's here. I think. Oh, no. Whatever. No, no, he's still not here. We're missing uh, Glenn. We still have to wait one more hour for Glenn. That's fine, though. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send Daryl and Rick back now. And then Merle and Glenn leave together. So we'll do... Uh, Merle, you are that icon. So you two... Come over here together. You wait for Glenn. You report, and then you guys are going to breach back inside. Go ahead and take the cooking ingredients this time around. Oh, we forgot to bring the backpack back with us this time, too. Fuck, that's going to hurt a bit. Oh, well. Um, take the ammunition as much as you can for now. Everything over here, I don't really care too much, but go ahead and take um, baseball bat, cricket bat. We'll leave those handguns, those weapons behind. Can't take the shotgun. I want to get the shotgun out of the way and take the cooking ingredients like so. That works out. And this should be enough for the other two to bring back the rest of the loot. That's fine. Alrighty, so we're good to go. You guys are heading back. You're watching. We're waiting for Glenn, and then you're over here watching as well. Let's go forward another hour. Merle waited for the right moment to let Glenn inside. Alrighty, good. Daryl left Rick behind. Yeah, he'll do that. They're dicks. They all hate each other at this point. Now back over here, both of us are ready to finally come back home as well. So we want to breach and take everything that we left behind. 
ammunition, cooking ingredients, corals, everything. 7 of 13, perfect. So we could take the saucepan for cooking. We'll take some flashlights with us as well. And we'll take the deck of playing cards and we have a mop left over. <laughs> saucepan is 2, wooden spoons is 0 0.5. There you go. What we're leaving behind, I think we could probably make without. Yeah, okay. So you guys get it back now. Over back at home, Meg's going to keep watching, Darrow and Rick are idle. I just need you guys to heal up finally. And that's about it. Modify items focusing on capability. Let's actually start doing some patrols with... No, no, no. Not yet. Let's just wait till they're back. Alright, skip forward now the hour. <clears throat> oh, good God, thankfully. Michonne. Who do I... Can, who can I have to kick out? Meryl? Meryl, I think, even though he's probably the only person who's not actually hurt yet... I'm down to do it. It's it's fucking Michonne, right? Another survivor was opposed to group. She has a concussion. Despite that, she looks fit and strong. Rick, Glenn, and Daryl can't see a reason why she shouldn't join the group. Maggie and Merle don't want her to join the group. The group is full, and Michonne joins, and then Merle will leave. She's got four bandages, two doses of antibiotics, two packets of painkillers, and two splints. She has a lot of medication on her, which is good, because then Maggie could probably start healing some more people. So, Dare, um, Merle, I'm sorry, dog, but... You are going to have to go. Plus, you know, if we get rid of Merle, there'll be one less person that people hate for. And then apparently everybody will listen to Michonne here except for Maggie. So this will hopefully get our spirits back up again. So we'll accept this trade as much as I love uh, Merle. Alrighty. Merle left Glenn behind on the way to the house because he couldn't keep up. Daryl ate a snack. A survivor Michonne approached Maggie, Daryl, Rick. Although she had a concussion, she was carrying some medical supplies. She joined the group. Everyone is conscious of one another. Alrighty. There was not enough room in the group, so Merle left. Maggie, Rick, Glenn, and Daryl... Couldn't care less about losing him. That's what I meant. Alrighty, so now we have what I imagine is a pretty decent amount of food finally. 11 snacks, and we have 19 cooking ingredients, and we have a lot of ammunition. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better than I did before. I'm still not exactly crazy about all of our injuries here, but at least we have some food to actually survive and hopefully recover. So what we need to do right now is go to orders, and we, let's do some treat survivors here. Wit. Excuse me. Oh. Daryl's actually a four in treating survivors. That's oddly surprising. Uh, Maggie, let's have you get off of that. I need you to actually treat people. And I need you to start with everybody, apparently. huh? <clears throat> let's start with Rick, then. And then we're going to have Glenn just watch for zombies and report. And Michonne and Daryl. I'm going to have you idle for a second here. Meanwhile, we get everybody treated. And then I'll have you start patrolling outside and taking care of the zombies. So I think that's going to be pretty ideal. Let's go forward. Glenn ate a snack. Glenn and Rick took two packets of painkillers to deal with their injuries. They will be able to function better for a while. Rick stopped showering so he could be treated. It's getting dark outside. We need to be more vigilant. Glenn reported that there are no zombies outside the house. Rick's concussion cannot be fully treated because the red medical supplies aren't available at the house. So we still can't treat his um, concussion. He's on pain medication. Minor lacerations have been treated. Concussion is still there. And Daryl's going to be next, huh? Glenn is on pain medication. He's got a broken right arm, which has been treated. Lacerations and minor contusions. And then Michonne also has a concussion. So if we don't have the medication to cure Rick's concussion, same thing with Michonne, huh? That's unfortunate. What do we need for the concussion, I wonder? Well, whatever the answer is, I'm pretty sure it's here, and I'm kind of worried about going to that one right now. So, Maggie, you are going to treat Glenn now, because we can't treat Michonne because we have no concussion medication. But go ahead and treat Glenn. Glenn, you watch for zombies, and then... That's all we can do at this point, huh? Create distraction. Uh, we need to start preparing some meals, too. Luckily, Michonne can actually cook pretty well. So, Michonne, you go over there and cook some meals for us. And Daryl it could start sniping as well, if we want that to be a case here. Uh, can we... I don't think we could fortify the location anymore, right? No. We're out of, um, <clears throat> we're out of completely um, furniture to actually fortify anymore. So, Daryl and Rick just idle away here for a second, then. Or for an hour, anyway. Daryl and Michonne have been discussing tactics. They're both feeling smarter. Good. Glenn and Rick ate two snacks. Glenn stopped watching for a zombie so he could be treated. Daryl tried to play a game of chess, but no one else was interested. Michonne prepared two small meals. Maggie treated Glenn's lacerations with a bandage. Glenn is all patched up. Good. Okay. So, we're finally getting back on the right track here. So, Michonne, you continue. Actually, no, no, no. We're going to have... Maggie, be the cook. Now, we're going to need somebody to start watch and then somebody to start patrolling outside a bit, too. Because over here, we're done in the store. All that's left is there a cricket bat and some stuff that we really don't need. This is also done. 
I think we need to start going to these houses. I want to go to this um, hotel, but it worries me considering the amount of zombies and all of our injuries. We have to wait out for the hotel for a while. So I'm thinking we go to the houses over here that are apparently supposedly empty. It's 7 p.m., but I think it might just be worth it. So, Glenn, you're going to come over here, my friend, and investigate this location for us. We've done it before, but I want to just make you know sure that it's fine. So we'll do it one more time because it's been a while since we last checked it anyway. So go over here and use the intense flashlight and the intense pair of binoculars and that's all you should need just for investigating but just in case something goes bad go ahead and take the spike baseball bat as, as well that's all you should need yeah okay so you're fine go over there and check that out back home we could probably start doing some modification assuming somebody's good at it mm. michonne or daryl huh i guess i'm gonna have to go with daryl so daryl you're gonna have to start working on I'm going to say probably, uh, let's go with a close combat maybe, or assault. Let's go with assault. So Rick and Michonne are idle. So who's going to start patrolling or watching for zombies? I guess Michonne's going to do that. And her and Rick actually get along, so they could both do that meanwhile. Yeah, sure, why not? So yeah, go watch for zombies and report. Glenn's going to do his thing, and let's going to go forward here. All right, 8 p.m. Glenn scattered around the perimeter of the house using an intense pair of binoculars. He counted one zombie outside. He peered through the window, but did not see any zombies inside, allegedly. All righty, so Daryl's modifying the handgun, and Daryl ate a snack, and Maggie prepared three meals. Perfect. So, so far, good. And I think we're going to have to go over here, but we're going to do an assault before we actually breach in, because, um, you know, in case there's crazy stuff in there, we could probably shoot them through the outside. So, who are we taking for this assault? Is my question here, and I'm going to say, Glenn, Daryl, how are your injuries? You still have the contusions, huh? Have the contusions. Um, you're over here modifying items, so I'll leave you behind. I'll take Michonne, Rick, and Glenn for this one. So, Michonne, Glenn, Rick, you're going to go over here and you're going to assault the house from the outside. Go ahead and take the crossbows, which actually work a lot better for assault, apparently. So... Crossbow. I know we have a double-barreled crossbow. Boom. And submachine gun. Close combat. Assault's only two. We'll take the double-barreled handgun then. Where's that one at? Close combat four. Assault three. Yeah. So we'll take some quarrels with us right now. Take 30 of them just to be safe. Take some bullets as well. And we need intense pair of binoculars. Intense flashlight. And just take a few melee weapons in case things go awry with the long range here. So we'll do... Sledgehammer seems pretty good. We'll also take the... Baseball bat. And the... Hmm. Spike pair of brass knuckles. That seems pretty good. Flashlight. Binoculars. Sledgehammer. That's fine. Oh, that's my phone going off. One second, guys. Alrighty. So, let me actually cut off for a second. This might be an important call I was expecting, actually. Sorry about that interruption there. There's actually a call I was expecting, and I need to start getting ready to get the hell out of here. So, let's wrap up this episode. I want to set up the assault before we wrap it up, though. So, let's go forward here. Rick, Michonne, and Glenn assaulted the location. Rick, Glenn, and Michonne opened fire on the four zombies lurking around outside. They took them all down. The house is clear of zombies for now. Perfect. Rick, Michonne, and Glenn return to the assault from the assault. And then um, Rick and Glenn are constant bickering. Daryl's halfway through with modifying the handgun. Maggie prepared a small meal. She stopped preparing meals because she ran out of ingredients. Alrighty. So how are we looking here? Supplies are going to be uh, seven small meals and seven snacks. Ugh. Still pretty low, but it's okay. At least we know this house is apparently secured that we know of. So what we need to do is actually set up a breach for next time. Alrighty, and with that, we're going to wrap it up here today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. Stick around. Find out what's in that house next time. I will catch you then.